Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another episode of Super Monday Night Combat. You're here with Keldal, and we're going to be taking a look at another one of the pros here. So we are going to be uh, playing as Artemis during this game. Artemis is a sharpshooter, kind of long range pro. Uh, she has a bow and arrow, and then a uh, faux gras, which is like this outland creature that um, goes on her arm and shoots out little quills. Um, according to the uh, wiki um, and also allows her to grapple uh, so as you notice here um, the difficulty is kind of the second second to the highest difficulty um, so all the sharpshooter pros um, are fairly difficult to play because you do need to have very you know high accuracy with them and you can't really rely on just spraying bullets everywhere or you know tossing auto locking uh, skills around and stuff like that um, you know you kind of either hit and do a lot of damage or you miss and end up doing nothing so I really enjoy playing Artemis on this uh, particular map uh, there's some pretty good kind of straight kind of hallways that you can aim down and, and do uh, quite a bit of damage from really far away as, as people are kind of just running down to catch up to where all the action is um, so we're going to go ahead and head on out to it, and I'm heading over to the uh, first area that I like to kind of set up, because you'll notice I can see down both lanes um, from this area over here, and so it's a really good kind of sp spot for e any sharpshooter pro. So there you'll notice those kind of uh, dings that you'll hear. Um, that means that either I got a headshot or somebody headshot um, me. And so there is a, another sharpshooter pro over there, the gunslinger, on the opposite side. And unfortunately, the assassin comes right up behind while I was trying to aim at those guys and takes me out for the first kill of the game, which is very unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and run back in here. So Artemis has uh, three skills just like all of the other pros. Uh, she has a boomerang skill, which is really good for taking out little tiny groups of bots and stuff like that. Um, she also has a damage over time ability that kind of locks on. You'll see me use it there. And it turns the uh, other pros kind of green and does damage over time. You can still see the pro running away. Um, so you can actually see them through walls kind of like you have with the uh, team um, view where you can see where the other pros are. So it's a good good skill to kind of put on someone who's, who's ducking around a corner. And if you don't have any bots or other pros over there you end up losing that line of sight and don't know where they are so you can keep track of them the third ability is um, this little creature that you send out it is called biological warfare and so biological warfare is an ability that uh, sends out a little creature it does kind of a, a blast area of effect damage where it explodes and it slows damages and locks out skills of the enemies um, so it's really good to kind of toss that out there slow down pros allow you to to get some headshots in there good lord chip what is that it smells horrible eels boiled in sauerkraut so you'll notice when I'm shooting that bow, you'll see around the uh, crosshair a little circle that kind of charges up. And so that increases the damage that you do with the bow. So right here, I notice that Cheston isn't paying too much attention, so I wanted to get in behind and try and get a grapple on them. Unfortunately, it's uh, two on one right here, so I end up having to back off pretty quickly. Um, they don't do too much damage uh, to me, so I'm, I'm doing okay. But you'll notice as it charges up, I'll do a little bit more damage with that bow shot. If it charges up all of the way, then the arrow will actually pierce through um, bots and pros. Um, so you can do damage to multiple opponents that way. So I'm staying back, just getting some bot kills. Um, one thing that you really need to uh, keep in mind when you are playing a sharpshooter is do not get into a rut of just trying to get headshots. Headshots are great for damage. They do a lot of damage to pros, but you really want to keep pushing and killing those bots. That's going to get you that XP. It's going to help your bots push forward. It's going to help your other pros and teammates push forward. And when you get nice clear shots, get a headshot off one or two, that's going to cause the other team to really kind of back off. They'll get that ding. They'll see their health drop quite a bit, and then they're going to kind of want to retreat around the corner. 
So this assassin is putting a lot of pressure on me, ends up taking me out again, um, unfortunately. You'll notice the assassin already has seven kills um, very quickly into the game. Um, so this is not a good sign, especially playing as a sharpshooter. You are very um, kind of vulnerable to good commandos. So I tried to uh, get a couple shots off on um, the assassin that's up there, try and drop her health a little bit, cause her to um, retreat off of this lane. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to hit commandos that are really small like that. Um, not very big targets, and they move around quite a bit. Alright, so I move up a bit more. See if I can uh, get some more damage on that assassin as they're retreating. Cause them to fall back a little bit. The tank comes in. I've already noticed at this point in the game that their tank doesn't really know what they're doing. Um, so it's a pretty easy target right now. Especially since they are such a big character. It's really easy to get some quick body shots on them. And the Annihilator is about to come up soon, so I'm heading up top to uh, kind of lay some pressure on the opposing team there. I noticed the tank is up there, but I'm not exactly too worried about him, because as I mentioned earlier, he doesn't really seem to know too much what he's doing. So I'm just kind of staying back, see if I can uh, land a couple headshots to cause them to retreat and, and maybe get off. So the tank's just sitting up there and hasn't activated the Annihilator. I don't think he has enough money at this point. So again, not too worried. And he's just standing there like a sitting duck. So I'm going to let off a few arrows on him. Causing him to back up a little bit. Until I can get my teammates to come catch up with me. Now I see some more of my teammates around this area, so I go ahead and head on up there with them now that I've got some backup and it's not one on one. Get a nice grapple uh, on that tank there, and we are able to secure the Annihilator. So hop down, put some more pressure on some of the other pros that are left around because the Annihilator just did quite a bit of damage. Hit that chest in. And I notice he ended up activating his juice, so I'm going to go ahead and retreat and make sure he doesn't get any good shots off on me, because that will take me down quite quickly. Let me go help out my teammate over here. See if we can end up finishing him off. And I take him out as he's retreating down that long hallway. Again, really enjoy playing uh, sharpshooters on this map because of that. And it's two on one on this uh, assassin, so I know we can get some good damage. At least cause them to retreat. So they end up using their flashbang there and, and escaping. But that's alright because the uh, mission accomplished got them to back off and didn't get the kill on my teammate. So I'm back to um, taking out bots. You can get headshots on bots, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, the slim bots, which are the really, really tiny ones, pretty much an uncharged bow shot is going to take them out in one hit. Really um, easy to kind of rack up some uh, quick uh, shots on there. And then the larger bots, um, it's a little, usually a little better to uh, keep an eye on those headshots um, and, and lay them in there to get some more damage on them. Alright, so you may notice as I'm leveling up, I started out with um, leveling up my offensive capabilities because, of course, that's what you're going to be relying on quite a bit is that damage from the bow. The next thing that I like to upgrade, uh, particularly in this map because I noticed how dangerous their assassin is, was the defense. Um, that little bit of extra defense may mean the difference between your life and death. And then thirdly is the... Uh, Irradiate, which is the damage over time ability. It's a really easy lock on, especially when you get it uh, leveled up. You can um, set that off really quickly and do quite a bit of damage to them. Sometimes you can get some guys that are retreating, you toss that damage over time, and then you just wait for them to end up ultimately dying and not being able to do anything about it.
All right, so I'm moving up to uh, stay with our bots as they're kind of putting a lot of pressure on this turret to help take it out. So that's another turret that's down on the uh, right lane. And again, this tank not really paying too much attention to what's going on. Unfortunately, I missed those grapples. And so I moved back to my bow to try and do some damage. And there's the assassin again coming in with the grapple kills. Really annoying me at this point because it is uh, does quite a bit of damage. They are um, doing the best on the on the other team, and really the only reason that their team is is holding out this long. So I've got my uh, offensive damage leveled all the way up at this point. And again, we end up teaming up on the tank and taking him out very easily. You'll notice the tank has um, that shield that comes up. You um, cannot damage him through that. And so I like to end up jumping right on him and doing a quick grapple, allow that skill to end up um, wearing off and then let your rest of your teammates come in and finish him off. So... All right, so I hear the 15 second mark for the Annihilator, so I go ahead and start heading on up to start defending that point. Unfortunately, there's a bot there that starts distracting me, and the Assassin comes in and takes me out again from behind. So I notice them jump on the top. I'm hoping that my teammates are going to get up there to uh, help out, but it looks like only one of them ended up jumping up there, and the opposing team gets the Annihilator. So that does happen every now and then. So you'll notice me run straight over to buy some bots. It is very important that you do this. Get your um, lanes up and running again. I try to collect some of that money that was left over from our bots getting destroyed. Purchase bots on the other side. Take the five seconds to do this. If you end up dying and you're back at the home base after Annihilator goes off, it is going to definitely help you uh, push your lanes again and and keep their their bots from just pushing up and destroying the next turrets that are in line all right so tossing that damage over time on that assassin so i can keep an eye on them i notice i'm running around at the top not letting them get behind me like they were trying to do and put a little pressure on them make sure they can kind of get away from our bots and not end up taking us out all right, so I notice there's very, very low health there, but again, the assassin hops down, so I don't want to end up putting too much pressure there. Help out my teammate, make sure that they don't get killed. And unfortunately, that assassin ends up trying to get away again. But we end up getting them in the long run right at the end there. Alright, so their bots have ended up pushing up quite a bit, so I want to end up pushing these back, collect all these nice, delicious coins. Because again, even though you're long range, you need to get up there to collect coins. Having money magnet on a sharpshooter would be very, very useful, because then you don't have to move up as far. But you definitely want to make sure you at least take the time to collect something. Because if you're not collecting coins, then you're not going to be able to help out your team as much. Getting the Annihilator when it is needed, or getting yourself healed up when you need it, or anything else that... Alright, so getting a couple headshots. Notice I dropped the Sharpshooter's health, so I'm going to go ahead and pressure them. Put that damage over time, they got a little bit of health, so I go ahead and just forget about them let them end up dying all right so the annihilator is coming back up so we hop up to put some pressure get rid of that chest in all right so i've got plenty of teammates up here so we end up getting that annihilator with ease and head back down to start taking out more of the bots Fortunately, got stuck in the corner there with that rampaging Cheston. Definitely want to keep an eye out. As you notice, a lot of my deaths 
I'm sitting there zoomed in, trying to take out bots or get headshots, and then another pro from the side ends up coming in, doing quite a bit of damage. So I notice my team is up here trying to take out Cheeky Cantor. Cheeky Cantor provides you with lots of money and buffs, so it is good to um, take Chicky out. Uh, you'll notice I did a grapple on him. So when Chicky does the giant stomp on the ground there, you can end up going up and grappling him. Do some more damage there and just keep shooting him down. There's that stomp again, so you want to jump to avoid the damage, run up, get the grapple. You can take damage from this, as you can see my health is dropping quite a bit because Cheston is around and, and did a bit of damage to me. But we still took out Chicky. You notice I got a big heal there, big buff with uh, my uh, armor. And go in, put a lot of pressure on those pros on the other team and get them to back off. All right, so right after you get Chicky Canter, it's a good time to end up pushing forward. You want to escort these jackbots. Um, as you can see, they can easily be grappled by pros and be taken down um, pretty quickly if you're not helping them. So it's good to kind of walk through with them, help them get to the end, because if they get there, they do quite a bit of damage and take down that money ball quite quickly. All right, so we are pushing them up towards the end here. We've got our bots taking out the last couple turrets. So we put quite a bit of pressure on there. I want to get around that corner, get a couple shots off on that rocket turret, see if we can get that take, taken down. End up having to back off as their team is defending quite well and pushing us back a bit. They've got about three or four of them over there right now, from what I can see. Again, that tank, not not very smart, standing right out in the front. Easy to get some headshots on them. All right, backing up quite a little bit. Doing quite a bit of damage. See if I can finish off that Cheston. Combat Girl does the work for me, so back to bots. All right, so Annihilator is almost back up once again, so we want to start putting pressure up top. I don't have that much health, so I want to go over and get some Regenital before I end up heading up. I notice the opposing team is up there, and a couple of my teammates jump up. Unfortunately, Cheston was rampaging around and wasn't able to get up there. And it is back up. I activate some Juice. Unfortunately, Cheston gets the first grapple. I get the second one. And I've got my teammates up there to back me up. And we just need to put pressure on the rest of the team to get them off. And clear the top, allowing us to try and get the Annihilator. Almost there. Alright, that Assassin did quite a bit of damage. Run back over, get this Regenital again and head back up to support my team. And the Assassin and Cheston are back up. Quite a big fight over the Annihilator right now, but right now with us pushed this far, it's pretty much a goner for them if we get the Annihilator. Jump back off, my team has cleared it off and we get the Annihilator here. All right, so head down, finish off the rest of their team. Or let the bots do it for me. And with their bots cleared out, our bots move in straight towards the money ball. And we are able to start pushing towards the end game. So again, it's really good to kind of escort those bots. Make sure the other team isn't doing a lot of damage to them. So our money ball hits the floor. We've got a jackbot and quite a few other bots at the end here. And their last turret goes down. 
I'm trying to put some pressure on some of the other pros, see another jackpot go up, but it's too late for them. Their money ball goes down and we win the game. Alright, well, thanks everyone for watching. You saw a little bit of gameplay with Artemis, the sharpshooter in Super Monday Night Combat. Uh, I hope you catch you all next time on another episode of Super Monday Night Combat. Thanks for watching.